Following the Palestinian Nakba of 1948, the Green Line was drawn and divided the city of Jerusalem into east and west. Nineteen years later, Israel occupied East Jerusalem, then illegally annexed the city and imposed Israeli law and jurisdiction on its Palestinian population. Israeli policies in occupied East Jerusalem extend from three central strategies. Creates a Jewish majority, reduces Palestinian presence, isolates East Jerusalem and divides the West Bank into two parts. A policy of spatial colonial segregation enforced by Israel's settlement enterprise. Immediately after the annexation of East Jerusalem, Israel began constructing illegal settlements that have already confiscated 35% of the city, leaving only 13% for Palestinian construction, and creating a severe housing crisis that led Palestinians to build without Israel's permission, which launched its policy of home demolitions. Israel has also revoked the permanent residency status of thousands of Jerusalemites, claiming they live outside the city. And to expand major settlements, Israel plans to forcibly transfer Palestinian Bedouin in the Eastern Jerusalem Governorate, and has been constructing illegal roads to create connections among them and between them and Israel proper, in addition to erecting military checkpoints around the city. To further restrict Palestinian construction, Israel has taken over more land for so-called Jewish biblical parks and to install light rail lines, a cable car and a train line that connects to Tel Aviv, and dug tunnels to create archaeological parks and tourist sites. Since 2001, Israel has been constructing the annexation wall that has stolen more Palestinian land and separated thousands of Palestinians from Jerusalem. Today, there are 200,000 Jewish settlers, in addition to at least 100,000 on the East Jerusalem side of the wall. This is the reality of Palestinians in East Jerusalem, with 300,000 Palestinians, including at least 100,000 separated by the wall. Colonized, impoverished, and segregated.